Yo, what's up, guys? It's uh, some updates with MC Tears, the bot. But, anyways, um, I've added slash add slash remove. I've updated a message for one of my waitlist panels so I can find it. This is the new uh, waitlist panel for the um, V3 version. And then uh, I've also added something I think people will kind of use as a replacement to a website. Uh, uh, I said a long time ago I was going to make it so you could host a website using the bot. But now that I think of it, uh, I don't really got the time to be doing all that. So I just worked first time using a API, API, Google Sheets API and a uh, Google Drive API. It was a little bit weird. It kind of took me a little bit to understand it, but um but yeah. So I'm just going to go through this is going to be kind of a tutorial to set up just a small little tutorial again to set up all those commands. Slash add and slash remove. Uh you don't really got to do anything for those. Go for a waitlist v3. All you gotta do is put your NA roles, your EU role, and your AS role. These would be waitlist roles. I just didn't bother to make waitlist roles, and then this one would be for the uh, where the uh, what's it called? Channel. I mean, the embedded would be sent. So I mean, request test. It's here. It works. Um, that's really it for that and for the sheet go ahead and show you this is what i've been working on the pretty much this whole whole night and uh early day but yeah it's an auto updating sheet it doesn't look the best right now at the moment but uh if i do slash results uh give me myself my name uh okay well not crystal because uh i don't want to give myself if I go to Nefpot, give myself, um, I don't know, high tier 5. I mean, low tier 5 is what I'm ranked in MC tiers, I think. If I just do that, it's going to put my result in, and then it's also going to put Nefpot in. So basically, if you have a result, it's not going to show any game mode until you get a result put in. So these game modes won't originally show here. If you put in, I don't know, S&P um, test result, is going to pop up there. Again, it's not going to look the nicest. I mean, you can pretty much change it yourself. It's customizable by yourself. So all you got to do is really like, what, hold up. All you got to do is just make all these rows a specific color. I don't know what color you want it to be. But yeah, that's it for the sheet. It's that simple. Uh, now to set it up, all you got to do is... um. Is just go to um what's it called set underscore sheet sheet id um uh, you this right here between the slash edit and the hold up the slash edit and the d this would be where your sheet id would be so if i just put it in it'll say for me it will say that the sheet is already in use so instead i would put a different id because uh, I can't really use that one. Well, I can, but I just can't really put it back in. And then if you want to remove that sheet, all you got to do is do remove sheet. Yeah, and um, that's really it for this update. I guess I'll call this 4.0 because it is a big update, I think. But um, yeah, uh, some other news is that um, I'm creating my home tier list again. I know uh, the sword tier list was kind of short lived, but um, I have like I have time to go ahead and make a new tier list. I I've hired a bunch of staff already. If you wanna get app apply to become a staff, go ahead. Um, I'm st I'm thinking about keeping up working on MC tiers like often, but uh, at the at the moment I'm just gonna leave it how it is. I've added a few good things. I think y'all would love it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for a tutorial video soon. And also, if you have any problems or issues, DM me. I'll leave my at in the, in the comments, any links in the comments. And yeah, have a good day. All right, so welcome to the tutorial version of the, um, this video.
Um, so basically, we're gonna go through everything you would need to do. So let me just make up a new channel real quick. And so basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all the setup commands. This one right here. First, we're gonna go through uh, slash setup underscore channel. This would be your result channel. So that's pretty simple to do. And then now we're gonna do the game modes. So for this, if you want, you have to choose the game mode to uh, edit or add. So if you choose crystal, um, if you choose crystal, um, you would choose all these roles would be for that game mode. But for me, since I already have uh, it set up, I don't have to do that. But you would do that for every game mode you would want to add. Uh, it's it's really not that hard. The hardest part would probably be you making the, all the rolls. I'm gonna be honest. All right, for the setup queue, basically what you're gonna have to do is that you're gonna have, I think it's called developer mode on, and you have to be on PC. Or if you have like a bot that can show channel IDs, that would also work. So basically, all you gotta do is get the channel ID for all your queues. I've already done this, so I don't have to do it. For a ticket category, you would go and find like an eval. You would find like make an eval category and you just put that in. And then for pass category, you would put high tickets. That, that's what I did. But pass category basically means you pass the eval, you get to test for high tier three. And then ticket category is your evaluation tickets. So now we can go to set up transcripts. This is just uh, transcripts for uh, tickets made by MC tiers. So basically, um, all you gotta do is just put in your ticket transcripts uh, channel, and that's I already have that set up, so I don't gotta do that. And I'll set up waitlist. What you would do is that you would give yourself I have it as waitlist role, and then send channel submissions or whatever it's called. Form submissions is meaning if once a player submits a form request for to enter the waitlist, this would be sent. This will be recorded into a channel. I just currently have it in ticket transcript, so I don't gotta do this. And now one more thing set up underscore. One thing we also have to do, this is optional. I'm not sure if you want it. You can have your own sheet ID. So basically I have uh, one right here. You would get the ID would be between the D slash and then the slash edit. So you'd have to get this right here and then put it into your sheet ID but I don't have to do that again and um, you can only use the same sheet ID once and only the owner of that sheet ID can um, remove it so a other person could use it I don't know why you want that but uh, that's how it work and so basically after all that is done uh, I have to delete that oh by the way one more thing I, I need to mention is that once if once I once I uh, reset the bot, you will have to go through every one of these uh, channels and reset up your queue. I mean, you don't have to like set up and put all the IDs, but you have to go through open queue and then close the queue to get that message back in. And so it will update whenever you open the queue again. I, I just haven't made it so automatically update the, um, uh, it won't automatically sync the messages that are already Synced as a queue, so I don't have that yet. But um, yeah, you'd have to do that every time I reset. There's a few other things I just don't really remember all of them. But this is probably one of the main ones you have to do. You won't have to do any of the setup stuff. And so, basically, that's it for. This is something I had to remind you of. But anyways, slash open queue. See updates. I do slash next. It pulls me into a ticket. I go into um. I pass the eval myself. Uh, I beat my tester, pass the eval, and moves it to a high ticket category. Uh, I can slash add. I can slash remove a user to the from the ticket and add them to the ticket. And then finally slash close. It will ask me to confirm the close, and then it will make a transcript of it. And so now we go do slash results. Belcroy, it's Vizlo. Uh, Crystal, Lotcher 3, Lotcher 3, earned the rank. It's going to post it. 
and then once that is posted it will update the sheet but I, I was already loser 3 so it's not gonna update it but um yeah that's it did that usually if I just change it my tiers is just gonna show what tiers I have uh, last waitlist users look up I don't think I have any uh, user results it will show what time you were tested what rank you were before who you were tested by and basically but this was basically your last uh, result It's just just in case somebody wants to look at it and so create sheet ignore this it does not work at the moment test leaderboard no data well that's that's hella weird I, I, I gotta fix that this command just never works for me I don't know why test count uh, this is bugged this is bugged as well by the way uh, I went to an older version of the bot had to re-add everything so I guess that's just something I have to add but anyways yeah that's really it that's all you gotta do those are the only things you have to set up to make the bot functional everything else is self-explanatory but yeah, this is, uh, this is the tutorial part of the video, and yeah, I hope, hope you have a good day.